Hello again, how are you doing? <laughs> Welcome to the weekend Sunday shave. Um, have you had a good week since I've seen you Wednesday and are you having a good weekend? I hope so. Um, good health, good spirits and good shaves. That's a good saying that. Good health, good spirits, good shaves. Um, right, what are we using? First of all, we're using the Merca 34C. Short handle, good weight, non-adjustable, two-piece razor. And in there, I'm using a brand new Voscod, Voscod um, Teflon coated double edged blade. And make sure that's in. There is a slight overhang. Uh, blades in good alignment, good razor that, nice short, um, hollow but it's a, a good way to it, good grip, diamond knurl, handle, grip, anyway, and this particular one, in case you didn't know, you twist the bottom piece, that bit there, there you go, to undo it. Um, I'm going back to the artisan soap, I, I was sent two samples, I've, I've used one, uh, the one that fascinated me with a leather scent, <laughs> Mason Boutique, Jenny, um, and I'm using today her. The other one was T, was it uh, T L H? Yeah, that's right. I was so fascinated by the scent, I've forgotten the name. <laughs> but today we're using Bobcat, and this has. Oh, it's a lovely scent. And I've taken a bit out obviously to lather up, I'll show you in a minute. Um, vanilla, sandalwood and a, a fresh water cologne, them are the notes. Now you can certainly smell the wood. Yeah, lovely and it's in a cologne way. So you've got a wood, sweet wood, cologne scent. It's, it's nice, it's a nice com combination. Com Let's start again. Combination. Thank you very much. But, as always, they must take priority. Lady of the house, look at that, beautiful. So let's take a close look at them. close-up of the flowers so let's have a close-up of the shaving soap now I've put I've soaked this is the uh, Samog A30 ball brush soaked in hot tap water um, while I had a shower then shaken out until it was wet but not dripping I put some soap in the bottom of this um, it's normally kept over there this is the captain's choice original shave ball I like this especially for creating a lather because of the ridges at the bottom and it just holds nicely in the hand very nice so cobalt blue or something or cobalt the ball is so how's your week been okay I hope I'll just show you this gather waste not want not and we're certainly having cold weather had a few frosts in the morning which I like, kills all these bugs, viruses and now as you can see this soon lathers up and the scent is superb, look at that, I should be very proud of this Jenny, to me personally a soap, if it lathers like this, good and as quick that's three quarters of the way for me 
of being a good soap. The scent, okay, it's important. The ingredients that is good for your skin, you know, you don't have any sort of reactions. It's well made, are important. But if it lathers up to a good, thick, creamy lather like that, as quick as this, that's three quarters of a good soap already before it's touched my face. My own personal opinion. Now, when I go now, look at this. That's fully loaded, that. Beautiful. Is. This is nice, very nice scent. And I never thought I would choose, you see, I would never, don't ask me why, if I seen a soap, vanilla, I don't know, I, I just wouldn't go to, I, I'm a more sort of musky, woody, you know what I mean, the, the citrusy, um, type. But this, uh, I can say I'm missing out because look at that. Superb. So as for lathering up, spot on. Spot on. So let's see. The scent, as I say, is a very sort of cologne -y, woody, cologne -y, fresh scent. Sweet. And that's the vanilla. Very nice. Oh, that's a lovely razor, this. That's a nice blade, that. That's a nice blade. I have used them before, but it's been so long, I tend to forget the performance, you know, the, what they like. But having said that, the blade is a very different experience it has different sort of um, experiences and different razors and that's the door and we're back <laughs> see all sorts of things happen here it was Great Almond Street lady from there collecting for charity. Right. Very good. That's superb. It's a nice blade, this. Look how good it is. Well, in this razor, anyway. Yeah. So have you made your shaving Christmas wish list? Too early to say. <laughs> right. Christmas dinner. Oof, too early. Let's talk about Sunday dinner. What are we having? Well, I had a choice this week. It was going to be duck breasts, which I've had not long ago. Lamb leg steaks, but I had lamb last week. So I'm going to have pork, roast pork joint with the skin on, crackling. And I'm a bit too fond of the crackling. For the <laughs> but a little bit of what you fancy does you good. And the second pass. Now this soap 
as the other one did, holds superbly. These artisan soap makers put their heart and soul into these soaps and products and you can tell straight away it's so well done Jenny. Superb. I'll put the links. I was confused, wasn't I, last time, if you remember, uh, about the brush guy, but I realise now it's husband and wife. He does the brushes, she does the soaps. So, <laughs> so uh, good luck to you both with your business. and. I'll put a link to it in the di video description. Mm -hmm. All right. Good stuff. Good stuff. Very protective. Very, very protective. I'm going to give it a slickness test. This is how I test it, just wet in the face to see what sort of slickness has been left since applying the soap. So here we go. I'm going to go against. Superb. No problem whatsoever. Yeah, superb slickness. So good protection and good slickness. And a lovely scent. Very nice. Nicely, um, it's not overpowering, it's just there and it's beautiful. Makes you feel good. Makes you, makes you feel happy. <laughs> I'm going to add some water just to see it explode. Good, wouldn't it? If you could reach out and just have a go and hand it back. There you are, YouTube, if you're watching. Jenny, if you're watching in London. Try and figure a nap out. Smell a vision, we need. And a scent app, and uh, we need um, Grab app, where you can reach to the screen and grab products. Yeah, all right, then I'll get on with the shave. Uh, against the growth. This is superb. Hear that? That's the sound you want. So is it getting colder where you are? I know some parts of the States and Canada, I think Canada, um, have had snow. My friend, YouTube friend, Ozzy, Ossie. I hope I pronounced that right. Ossie. Ossie. Yeah. Uh, has that snow? He's showing his snowman. With his lovely wife. Uh, standing in front of his good there. So I hope everybody's staying warm and safe. I always said this though, America and Canada are experts when it comes to snow because they're, they're geared up for it, they've got the equipment to deal with it, they're used to it. Over here, 
Okay, Scotland's okay. Wales, we get used to it. But uh, in the countryside. But once you get to the towns and cities, inch, two inches of snow, it's the end of the world, baby. <laughs> Right, pick up time, eh? Pick up time. Look at that. The longevity. Right, do you like that word? The longevity. How long does the lather last? Well, it's superb. It doesn't dissipate. It's not airy. The more you lather it, the creamier it gets. As any soap, really, but... Uh, When they're good soaps, or well made, they do it quickly and last, with little effort. And the reason I'm saying that is because that's what this soap does. Um, and I have used a fair few soaps of various qualities over the years. Yeah. Good slickness, I can go over easy. Oh, that's clean that, is it? Oh, just a touch more, I love this. I won't overshade, don't worry. Right, listen to this. That's nice. Just a touch there, it's always that bit there. Remember though, if you're thinking, God, how do you keep going over your skin like that? Light touch. And that's the difference it makes. Right, we'll rinse off. Towel. Oh, nice various colours there. Are these called pastel colours? I don't know. I'm not going to get too clever because nobody comes back to haunt me. Right. Okay. We're going to go with the Thayer's Unscented Witch Hazel. Lovely. No sting, burn, anything. Beautiful. Oh, I was going to use my Allen block as well. But if I use that, I like to use it before the witch hazel, you see. Only because uh, that takes slickness away. And Thay is, is okay. It doesn't take any slickness away. Only slightly. And... Uh, Nice cologne today. And the reason that's half, well, how do you say it? How do you say it? Do you say it's half empty or half full? I would say it's half full, me personally. Um, this is Crabtree and Evelyn Indian Sandalwood. And uh, beautiful. And the reason, yeah, the reason it's half full is because Mrs. H uses it. She likes a lot of the men's stuff. Now this, I'm using that sandalwood because of the sandalwood in the Bobcat. Um, fresh water cologne, so that gives you the fresh scent, the freshness of it, the cologne -y feel to it. And then you've got the sandalwood and vanilla, which is like a wood, sweet, woody. So, I, said, it's a, I don't know how it sounds to you, but the, it's 
it's nice, it's a really nice scent, a very pleasant scent. And as I say, I wouldn't pick vanilla. I don't know why, nothing again, I love eating vanilla ice cream, but um, it wouldn't be one I'd go straight for in a shaving soap. But this contains it, and it's very nice. So if you use vanilla, no wonder, it's very nice. Um, and then fresh wood aftershave balm by Boots. This is nice. This is a. It hasn't got. This isn't a sandalwood scent. It's just a normal cream scent. But it's, I don't know. I like the. Well, I love the scent of this balm. I don't know. I've always I always liked it. I don't know, it's beautiful. Mm -hmm. Lovely. How's that looking? <laughs> um, yeah, going back to where... Uh, I'm all over the place today. Um, what we've used, first of all. So we've used the Merca 34C two-piece razor, non-adjustable. Twist at the bottom. And that comes off like that, which I'll keep now because I'm going to clean it. Superb razor, not mild, not aggressive, a mid-range razor for me. Uh, really nice, comfortable shave. Uh, a, a very sort of go-to razor. Use the Samoog 830 Ball Brush Banded. Um, these, the more you use these, you know, the more they run in, then you'd have a job to tell it against a badger, I tell you, only the price. Superb brush. We use Captain's Choice um, Shaving Lathering Bowl and of course not forgetting the Mason Boutique from Jenny, the Bobcat Shaving Soap. So my thoughts on this is lathering, superb, easy, um, you know, it, as I said before, if you, when you lather up, if it lathers up rel relatively quickly, and to a nice thick creamy lather, I know then, well that's three quarters of the soap is one because it will give me a good shave. If it lathers up like that, I know it'll give me a good protection, good shave. Then comes the scent and then comes the ingredients. Two important things, um, but to me personally, not as important as how good the lather is. Uh, and in this case, all ticked all boxes, good lathering, very quick and the scent is beautiful like I say it's like a cologne essence to it but it's a woody sweet scent sandalwood vanilla beautiful you've done well there good product good luck with it you should sell lots of that that's good stuff go on then before I should close the lid lovely isn't it and it's not a hard soap it's like a crope it's like a like a fudge texture, very easy to lather, very nice. Um, so thanks Jenny. Then rinsed off with water, then I used the Thayer's Unscented Witch Hazel. Another good product. And uh, this one, I haven't used this for a while, it comes in this box by the way if you ever. Crabtree and Evelyn Cologne. Um, as I say, it's been in Mrs. H's bag for the last... <laughs> pinch anything! Um, Crabtree and Evelyn Indian Sandalwood Cologne. Beautiful stuff. Um, and it goes well with its own sandalwood soap and cream as well. And uh, then I use the Boots Chemist Freshwood Aftershave Balm. Good stuff as well. And that, all good products lead to a good shave. Look at that. Pleased? And that is it. Just before I go, Sunday dinner. Roast pork. For those of you, if you're not interested, I'll see you in the next shave, sorry. Um, go on, don't I? Roast pork with crackling will be covered with olive oil first, and then it will be sea salt grinded on top, or flakes, I don't know which one I'll use yet. And that will give me the best crispy crackling you'll ever witness in your life. Um, but the slicing of the skin is very important. Well, anyway, this isn't a cooking program. Then, um, I may do some, well, I will do Yorkshire 
puddings this week and two of them there will be uh, mushy peas there will be carrots uh, roast potatoes I don't know yet um, but there'll be um, are we having mashed potatoes no normal potatoes and uh, a lot of gravy and a few uh, as I say pair of teeth as I cook uh, which will be very nice I enjoy it. find it very relaxing cooking I'm not a chef I'm nothing special like that I just enjoy it um, and it's good it's a uh, Sunday is a day of relaxation a lot of times we used to as I say used to go out make the most of the hours to being together and doing this going there and you think you know we're on the go for seven days of the week you need to calm down and go back to the old way do a Sunday roast still together you but you're relaxed it's fantastic if you love going out or whatever yeah that's fine but we love our home as well so it's nice, nice to, it has a life story for you, sorry about that. Thank you for the flowers Mrs H, thank you good people for watching, thanks Jenny and um, good luck to you and your husband in the business, uh, if you produce soaps like that uh, you'll do very well, superb, thank you very much. And that is it, so uh, <laughs> have a great Sunday, what's left of it and a good start to next week some good shaves and i'll see you on wednesday for the midweek shave so you take care of yourselves